Morning everyone, today we'll cover a different topic which I realized I messed up, unfortunately. <laughs> so let's take a look, what do I mean? I was looking at my day 17 solution, I wrote a functional code with object-oriented principles in my head. And we can definitely do better. And I separated this solution to the main file, the day 17 module, but then most importantly to input, map and rocks modules. What I really want to target today is that rocks is referencing map module, which is certainly something I would like to remove. It's a bunch of coupling, which is really not needed. We've got the move shape function, uh, which is run on the shape state. But move shape function needs to check whether the points are free uh, for the moved shape. I used a sort of a object oriented concept where I pushed the whole map in here just so I can run our points free function. What should have happened is we should push a function in here, or rather, not really a function, but a closure. And that closure should tell us whether the points are free or not. We don't need the whole map. So let's try to implement that together. And this is gonna be F. I think you need to decorate it with F. So let's go this way. Yeah, and here we can add a WHERE clause where the F and that would be... Um, actually, you know what? Let's check out the R points free. So R points free targets a map, but most importantly, it gets the shape of the rock. And once again, oh, it actually <laughs> get current points. Okay, cool. So get current points returns the vector of points. Shape, or not really shape. It's the vector, right? Vector of points, and it creates a Boolean. Ah, here we go, okay. <laughs> of course, I had to forget something. Okay, so not a new shape, but rather... Okay, cool. So R points free. And the new shape, get current points. Beautiful. That would be it. Now for the testing, we need to adjust that. Whatever the input was, we just want to return true the same as far as I understand rather than this we could go let our points free be exactly that type annotation needed ah all right so we disregard that but it's actually a vector of points right Ah, all right, got it. And then this whole use will no, wrong, no longer be used. <laughs> now, before we run that, we probably need to adjust everything else, but let's try it out. Yeah, I thought so. Ah, here we go, okay. What we need to refer to are points free. I want to reuse this. However, R points free now has a different <clears throat> different shape than the function that we need. What we want to have is points which are the vector of input point. Where was the point? Was the point in here? 
No, it was not. It was in the rocks. Okay. Cool. It was in the rocks. So this is then removed. And then we go to points, not pains. We need to push the function itself. We don't want to push... Hmm... I mean, we could easily do it like this. We could do that. But I think this is... This is not needed. I would like to pass along only this. Somehow I cannot. Okay, you know what? Let's... Let's close this thing down. So we want to be sure that uh, the tests will work. Okay, they do. They did not. And what's what's in here? Basic shape operations. Ah, because now we want to return false. Okay, because we are running left and we cannot actually move left there. So now, can we change that? Would that work? Apart from not used, yeah. Okay, so this would work then. And that still works with the whole thing. Yes, it does. So, um, let me copy that, but we will use it in here. So we will specify that our points free, this now we can use in here. Without any hassle and issues. If it was a function, not a method per se, we could push that. Anywho, at least we know uh, what needs to be done, because whenever our, we are in here, we can just jump um, into the definition, or rather to the definition. That's quite easy to do. What's important now is we removed the whole reference to the map module, which is perfect. This is exactly what I wanted. And now we're using a function, or rather a closure, which makes a lot of sense because, well, we don't need the whole map in here, right? not at all. We just need to know whether the points are free or not. One more thing. Ah, that was in the map. Okay, sure. <laughs> because I was thinking whether we could use a function, not a closure. We cannot because we close down on the map itself. Perfect. We got that. Thank you very much guys, thanks for paying attention, I'm happy we had some fun to play around with functional programming at, and with Fleet from JetBrains, so I had fun, I hope you had too. <laughs> Thank you very much, and as always, we can do better as a pack. Bye!